guys, it's Ashley. Just wanted to share the Halloween mini that I just finished up for my swap with Jen. Um, it's taken me probably about six hours to finish this today. Um, and so I think I'm going to stick to tags for a little while. I like making minis, but they're just so time consuming. And um, I know Jen uh, doesn't normally make minis for the same reason, so I appreciate that she's doing this swap with me. But I think for a while I'm just going to stick to the tag. So um, this mini is actually not really a mini. It's kind of gigantic. I put twice as many pages in here as I normally would because I figured if this is the last one I'm going to make for swaps for a little while, um, I'm going to try to, you know, make it really good. So, um, <clears throat> I also use my bind it all for the first time on this. So I'm still trying to figure out kind of how that works. Um, cause it's, like I said, it's the first time. So it was a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be, so I shouldn't have, um, put the wire in until after the fact, but anyway, um, this is what I came up with. I used the Bewitch Be stack that I got from Joann's, the 12 by 12, and I also used a 6 by 6, um, of the Martha Stewart, like the, um, kind of the matte stack. So, um, these, I used these spell binders. I had some nestabilities to punch these out. And the little stickers are Studio G, and they are glittered. Um, twine is also Studio G that I got from Walmart. These flowers, the black and white rosettes, um, with the tool on them, I got from um, a D stash. And then these little spiders and the little bones I got from Michael's or the little recollections adhesive um, embellishments. This rosette is also from that same D stash. And then this is the punch out from the Bewitched um, 12 by 12 paper stack. And I just use my um, eye rock tool to adhere some little gems. And if you see, I have glue like all over my fingers, so excuse that. And um, I just did the edges in black soot Tim Holtz Distress Ink. Uh, then on the front page, I mean on the inside page, um, this is the first page here. I just used some of that tool trim that I got from Hobby Lobby and then also the little pom-pom trim. Um, and then here on the bottom is some spiderweb ribbon that I got from Michaels, some more of those adhesive embellishments. This is also a recollection sticker I just put, um, on a little circle that I punched out and put it on a pop dot. And then this is one of the um, border strips in the Martha Stewart collection, and then this sticker is also from Recollections with the little Google eyes. I made these little tags. This is a punch out. Just used some of the Studio G twine and a little Recollections um, sticker. And then on the back, I used some of the um, Martha Stewart border strip. Just cut it, and um, this little phrase is from another little set that I had. It says Fright Night. This I just punched out and rounded the corners. This is some of that trim from Hobby Lobby and another one of the recollections. This is a stamp that I got from um, Joann's from the dollar bin. And it's just plain on the back, just another spider. And this I just punched some of the paper with the Martha Stewart spider web um, edge punch and put this little sticker from the Martha Stewart um, embellishments that I got on clearance and this is another dollar stamp from Michaels and I just used the rusty hinge Tim Holtz on that. This is another punch out from the collection. I just used the little green staples that I got from Walmart in the back to school section and some ribbon from Michaels and then on the back I just stamped Happy Halloween. That's also one of the dollar stamps from Joann's and then here I used those same staples with the spider web ribbon and this is um, also from the Bewitch stack so all those tags kind of stick back in there um, here I created this um, using the Martha Stewart um, chipboard pieces that I got from Marshalls and these are on pop dots and then glued 
um, so they won't pop off. This, I just used my two inch circle punch, punched out the same paper, um, and I used stickles on here. And this trick or treat is a Martha Stewart sticker as well. And then I created this little um, tag. This is a spooky word phrase from K and Company. And this is um, one of my punches. I don't remember the name of it, but it's one of the ones I got. It's an EK success that I got from um, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. It's just plain on the back. So that just tucks back down in there. Then on the next page, um, this is some of that glitter tape that I got and these little um, candy corns or Martha Stewart stickers. These are Jolie's um, glittered spiders. This paper is Teresa Collins. I just used my new um, spell binders that I just shared in my haul to punch this out. And then I put some little bling on there and this is one of the Martha Stewart stickers that I got from um, TJ Maxx. This is the, from that Martha Stewart math stack. And then this is Martha Stewart, Martha Stewart, and these little corner, photo corners of Martha Stewart. And then this actually will pop out. And you can put a photo in here. And then on the back, I just stamped one of those dollar, that dollar um, spider stamp for Michaels and used my Martha Stewart spider web punch on the top there. Just tucks right back in there like that. And this is my kind of first experiment with washi tape or paper tape. This is um, a three pack that I got from Michaels on clearance. And then all of these sentiments um, are from the Martha Stewart sticker pack. Kind of make it look like a, you know, like a condemned building or um, something like that. I did use a lot of different different things, tried some different stuff. Um, <clears throat> this page here, this is a haunted sentiment from K and Company. These are Martha Stewart washi or um, Halloween tape. 